next door. Mm, yes, that I do. I'm so glad you knocked on my door. I'm glad you knocked on my door in return. <laughs> that old guy you've been seeing? Doug, this is Jacob, my father. Your father? My father. I get that. Dad? Morning. Oh my God, you fucked my dad? I meant to tell you. <laughs> Clearly, this is all my fault. I mean, I am the one that started seeing you both at the same time. And you couldn't put two and two together? Was I supposed to ask if your gay father lived in the neighborhood? That doesn't come up in normal conversation. So, do you have the daddy complex or does Colton? How do you know about daddy complexes? I'm a therapist. I deal with a lot of strippers. How did you not see this coming? Oh, right, because this happens so often, but I should have expected it. You should always expect the worst. Being a mother has taught me that. So, why don't we keep dating and see where things lead. Why should you feel old? You're dating a twink. That's right. You're also dating an elder. Father and son, both gay, both inexplicably attracted to you. Please tell me you didn't have a three-way. No, we did not have a three-way. It's gonna lead you right to a bad daytime talk show. That's where it's gonna lead you. This has to rank as one of my most unusual courtships. More unusual than being married to a lesbian for 20 years? Pretty close. I'm exhausted. Too much work or too much sex? You, get inside. Take off your clothes, do whatever you need to do. But this is not a competition. It will be soon. They'll be strong enough to get through this if you choose me. I think you should be with Colton. You sacrifice your entire life. What do you want? Unuse me. Keep going. Turn this day around. We could still have a party for two. That would make it a party for four. Can't you understand what I see in each of you? I can see it. I guess I can. Even though he's old. Can we please put some clothes on? <laughs>